This is gonna blow your mind. Welcome to Baki's TV. Hi there, friends. It's your pal Baki here, and wow, am I excited to be with you today? We're going on amazing adventures, learning cool stuff, and having a blast together. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started on our fun-filled journey. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's go. Wow, look, it's an ant. Ants are amazing little creatures. They work together to carry food and build homes. Can you say ant? A-N-T ant. Ants are super strong for their size. They can lift things way heavier than they are. Buzz, 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 do you hear that? It's a bee. Bees help flowers grow by pollinating them. They collect nectar to make honey. Yum, can you say bee? B-E-E, -E, bee. Next time you see a bee, give it a little wave. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Look, it's a caterpillar. Caterpillars are so cool because they transform into beautiful butterflies. They munch on leaves and grow bigger and bigger. Can you say caterpillar? C-A-T-E-R-P-I-L-L-A-R, -L -L caterpillar. And when they're ready, they form a chrysalis. And inside, they change into a butterfly. That's pretty magical, don't you think? Zoom! Look at it go! It's a dragonfly! Dragonflies are like little superheroes. They can fly in any direction and hover in midair. Can you say dragonfly? D-R-A-G-O-N-F-L-Y, dragonfly. Their big eyes help them see all around. They catch insects in the air like mosquitoes. Thanks, dragonflies. Wiggle, 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 look, it's an earthworm. Earthworms are little helpers that live in the soil. They make tunnels that help air and water reach plant roots. Can you say earthworm? E-A-R-T-H-W-O-R-M, earthworm. They eat decaying plants and animals in the soil, and their poop creates nutrients that help plants grow. Thanks, earthworms. Twinkle, twinkle, look, it's a firefly. Fireflies light up the night. They have a special part that makes them glow. Can you say firefly? F-I-R-E-F-L-Y, firefly. Fireflies use their lights to talk. It's like their own language. And did you know fireflies are beetles? Boeing, Boeing, look at it jump. It's a grasshopper. Grasshoppers can hop super high and far. Can you say grasshopper? G-R-A-S-S-H-O-P-P-E-R. -S -S -E they have strong back legs for jumping and ears on their bellies. How cool is that? Buzz, buzz, here comes a horsefly. Horseflies like to be near animals, especially horses. Can you say horsefly? H-O-R-S-E-F-L-Y, horsefly. Horseflies have big eyes that help them see well. They're important pollinators too. Inch by inch, inch by inch. Look, it's an inchworm. Inchworms are so cool because of the way they move. They make themselves long, then short as they inch along. Can you say inchworm? I-N-C-H-W-O-R-M, inchworm. Inchworms are actually caterpillars too. They're the larvae of a moth. They love to munch on leaves and they're really good at hiding. Can you find the inchworm camouflaged on this branch? Wow, so sparkly. Look, it's a jewel beetle. Jewel beetles are like little flying jewels. They have beautiful shiny shells that shimmer in the sunlight. Can you say jewel beetle? J-E-D-O-E-L-B-E-E-T-L-E. -E -E -E. Jewel beetles come in all sorts of colors, green, blue, red, even gold. Their shiny shells help them blend in. Psst, psst, can you hear that? It's a katydid. Katydids are masters of disguise. They look like leaves to hide from predators. K-A-T-Y-D-I-D, -I -D, katydid. Katydids are nocturnal, active at night. That's when they sing their songs. Fly away, little ladybug. Look, it's a ladybug. Ladybugs are considered lucky in many cultures. They're helpful because they eat pests that harm plants. Can you say ladybug? L-A-D-Y-B-U-G, ladybug. Ladybugs have bright red or orange shells with black spots. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh-oh, it's a mosquito. Mosquitoes can be pesky because they drink nectar from our skin. Can you say mosquito? M-O-S-Q-U-I-T-O, mosquito? Female mosquitoes bite for protein to lay eggs. Mosquitoes are food for bats and dragonflies. Look closely. Can you see them? They're nematodes. Nematodes are tiny creatures that live in the soil. You might need a microscope to see them. Can you say nematode? N-E-M-A-T-O-D-E, -E, nematode. Some nematodes help break down organic matter while others control pests. Wow, so pretty. It looks like a flower. But wait, it's an orchid mantis. Masters of disguise, they blend perfectly with flowers. Other insects come close, unaware of the danger. Look at those arms. It's a praying mantis. Praying mantises are amazing hunters with powerful front legs. Can you say praying mantis? 
P-R-A-Y-I-N-G-M-A-N-T-I-S. They're named for holding their front legs together like praying. They wait patiently to snatch prey with lightning-fast reflexes. The queen bee is the heart of the beehive. She's the biggest bee and the only one who lays eggs. Can you say queen bee? Q-U-E-E-N-B-E-E, -E -E, queen bee. She releases scents called pheromones that guide the other bees. Who just scurried by? It's a roach. Roaches are found all over the world and can hold their breath for a long time. Can you say roach? R-O-A-C-H, roach? They might not be cuddly, but they play an important role by breaking down organic matter. Wow, look at that web, it's a spider. Spiders are amazing architects, spinning intricate webs to catch prey. Can you say spider? S-P-I-D-E-R, spider? Spiders aren't insects, they're arachnids with eight legs. Look at those busy workers, they're termites. Termites might be small, but they're mighty. They break down wood, returning nutrients to the soil. Can you say termite? T-E-R-M-I-T-E, -E, termite. Termites live in colonies, like ants and bees. They digest wood with help from tiny creatures in their stomachs. Shh, it's nighttime. Look closely. It's an underwing moth. Underwing moths are shy creatures that come out at night. Underwing moths are masters of disguise. They flash their colorful hind wings to startle predators. Munch, 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 look, it's a vine weevil. Vine weevils love to munch on plants, especially vine leaves. Can you say vine weevil? V-I-E-N-E-W-E-E-V-I-L. They have long snouts to chew on plants. They're nocturnal, feeding at night. They munch on gardens, but are food for birds and animals. Buzz, buzz, here comes a wasp. Wasps can be intimidating with their stingers, but they're important pollinators, just like bees. Can you say wasp? W-A-S-P, wasp. Wasps help control pests by feeding on other insects. Their stings can hurt, but they only sting when threatened, so admire them from a safe distance. Flutter, flutter, this butterfly is so special. It's a Xerxes blue butterfly. Sadly, the Xerxes blue butterfly is extinct. Can you say Xerxes blue butterfly? X-E-R-C-E-S-B-L-U-E-B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y. It reminds us to protect all living creatures and their habitats. Wow, look at it soar. It's a yellow swallowtail butterfly. Yellow swallowtails are beautiful with their bright yellow wings and black markings. Can you say yellow swallowtail? Y-E-L-L-O-W-S-W-A-L-L-O-W-T-A-I-L. They love fluttering around gardens and fields sipping nectar. And they're important pollinators helping flowers reproduce. Look at those stripes. It's a zebra swallowtail butterfly. Zebra swallowtails are easily recognizable with their black and white striped wings. Can you say zebra swallowtail? Z-E-B-R-A-S-W-A-L-L-O-W-T-A-I-L? They are found in eastern North America and love visiting flowers in gardens and meadows. Wow, we learned so much about insects today. From hardworking ants to beautiful butterflies, insects are amazing creatures that play an important role in our world. Which insect was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you had fun learning today. Thanks for joining me on this insect adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to Baki's TV for more fun. Bye for now.